More on creating a living arrangement that'll last weeks or even months. Well, now that the Labor Day weekend is upon us, it's a great time to think about decorating for any plans you might have for the holiday weekend. Centerpieces, planners, they're all great ways to do that. So we're checking in with Mara at Pike Nurseries this morning for some expert tips. Good morning, Mara. Good morning. How are you? I'm well, doing great. And I you've got some beautiful planters here already started. Stunning. So red, white, and blue is definitely the theme for this upcoming holiday. And we chose some beautiful plants that kind of show off our patriotism really, really well. <laughs> I, we decided to do something that has a little bit of a vertical stretch and pour kind of feel. You can get your color from your plants and your pots. Okay. So this blue pot is just gorgeous. We've got some vink over here in red and you're going to look for items that are going to give you a lot of texture as well. Um, you can do something tall that be down on the floor or something small that can be in the center so that you don't miss your your company but we have a lot of different choices make sure you don't throw away any kind of buckets or metal because that's really on trend right now okay great well, what do we have over here so over here we've got an herb garden and herbs are awesome they taste great in all of your different recipes this guy can live over by your grilling station or on a windowsill in the kitchen and one of the tricks i was telling you earlier a little bit about is mint can get a little aggressive so in order to keep him nice and tight in your containers and not let him take over. Mm -hmm. I like to plant it in its little plastic pot just to keep it tamed a little bit. And um, we also have one more idea for you guys. I know that some folks are living in smaller spaces right now and on their porches they'll be right next to their neighbors and sometimes their neighbors are a little bit nice and nosy. <laughs> so we have a clever um, solution for that right here. This is a trellis that you can train the jasmine on and the jasmine's going to start hiding all of the little um, spots that your neighbor might be peeking in. <laughs> and this is an evergreen variety, so you're not gonna have it go to sleep in the winter, but it'll just keep getting better. Okay, some great tips, and that's a beautiful way to add uh, the privacy that you're looking for. So it kind of has a dual purpose here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's a little bit fragrant too, okay. so it's nice. And even extra bonus. <laughs> all right, thank you for your help, Mara. Thank you for having us. I'm Chief Meteorologist David Chandley. We know your day